Oh, excuse me. There's none. There's Nancy. Okay, Karen. Our next speaker is Ginger Toll, and she's in opposition to Resolution 281. <coughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> First of all, I want to say, as I did, said before, uh, any drug laws and so forth, that's a federal matter, and I see no reason why the counties even bother to fuss with that, because you certainly have enough to do without fooling with that. Hawaii County should be should Hawaii County should be a zero tolerance for any drugs whatsoever. Your priority should be the well-being of this island and the safety of our KK. Regardless of all the ballyhoo, marijuana is not an innocent product. It stays within the system for up to three days and is especially damaging to young people. There are reams of documents on this subject. Check them out. The website, check out the website, teenkidsnews.com. <coughs> The big health push has been to educate cigarette smokers as the danger of smoking, and if you want to encourage something with more carcinogenics, inhaling anything is bad for the lungs. For those, th for those that tout the benefits of smoking pot, I suggest to find out the real story, you need to check with the police, the prosecutors, schools, emergency rooms, social services, health department, child protection, to get a real picture of what's going on. Pot is available everywhere here due to our climate. We do not want to become the pot capital of the world. We have never, we should never ever have an attitude of acceptance of any drug whatsoever. When the police make a drug bust, it usually includes many more drugs than just marijuana. It has been documented over and over that marijuana is an entry-level drug. The public will be involved, the police will be involved, legal or not. And I'd rather have our money spent protecting our KKN community and keeping a good place to live. It's easy. Just say no. I have, I have shortened this because of all the articulate people before me, which I agree 100%. And I'm just really upset that anyone would have the intestinal fortitude to think that this might be a good idea to start sending our community down the drain. Now, we, the silent majority of many people, which I'm not, are expecting you to be, as the previous lady said, good parents. They expect you to good use good judgment and absolutely understand that this is one of the worst possible things that could happen to us. Thank you. Thank you, Ginger. Okay, back here in uh, Hilo, Lisa Faulkner Inouye to be followed by Deputy Chief Paul Ferreira. Aloha. Uh, with respect to time limitations, the sources of the following statistics uh, will be noted at the bottom of this page and I will submit it to the clerk. Contrary to resolution number 281-09, marijuana is not compatible with healthy social activity. According to the National Survey on Drug Use and Health, the percentages of youth engaging in delinquent behaviors was higher among past year marijuana users than among those who had not used marijuana. In addition, for all delinquent behaviors examined by this survey, the percent of youth engaging in the delinquent behavior rose with increasing frequency of past year marijuana use. Marijuana and underage drinking are linked to higher dropout rates. Students who drink Students who drink or use drugs frequently are up to five times more likely than their peers to drop out of high school. Contrary to resolution number 281-09, marijuana is shown to exhibit the harmful qualities associated with most other drugs, including alcohol and tobacco. The earlier kids start using marijuana, the more likely they are to become dependent on this or other illicit drugs later in life. 60% of teens admitted to drug treatment cite marijuana as their primary substance of abuse. <clears throat> if the leaders of the Big Island vote to decriminalize marijuana use in Hawaii County, the message sent to our youth will be that marijuana poses no threat to their health and future. This fallacy will become your legacy. Thank you. Um, Mr. Uh, Ferrero, if you want to come up here and here we, we could move a little faster when it's your turn. Going back to um, Kona, Karen. Thank you, our next speaker. And I think we just have one more after this one. Um, but this is Cheryl Henderson, and she's opposed to Resolution 281. Aloha. 
If the intent of this proposal is to reduce or eliminate the criminal element in the use of marijuana by eliminating the high street value, I believe that it will fail because the premise upon which it is built is faulty. The premise applies only if marijuana is already legal, ev legal everywhere else and we are the last holdout for high street price. But as long as marijuana is illegal in any state in the country, the street value there will <coughs> remain high, especially for high quality marijuana grown in our state. Thus, the criminal element will remain active in the cultivation and distribution of the product. I believe that we will draw more of the criminal element to our island and our state for the huge money to be made in other states. This resolution is a wild card, totally unrestricted and uncontrolled, and can have tremendous negative effects at the local, state, national, and global levels. In recent weeks, I've studied much on this issue. If we look at areas on the mainland where marijuana has been decriminalized, we do not find a drop in street price and a reduction in crime. Instead, we are seeing an expansion in the cultivation and illegal distribution of marijuana, as well as theft of other growers' product on private land and in legal dispensaries, plus other drug-related crimes. To the public watching this meeting, if you are a casual user, or if you are not a user but do not want to restrict the rights of others, please consider this. Our existing decriminalization ordinance should be sufficient to satisfy personal users while moderately controlling the mass cultivation and distribution here and elsewhere associated with organized crime and drug-related violent and property crime. There is the incentive of much money to be made by the passage of this resolution. The rest of us who will not be cultivating and selling on a large scale, much to lose. The safety and security of our homes and families. I urge you not to be silent on this issue, but to let your voice be heard to protect our island home from becoming a drug producing and distributing haven for the rest of the world. To the council, I urge you to spend no more, t no more precious time on this issue, but to soundly reject this seconds. proposal and all, f and all future attempts at similar proposals. I have submitted two email letters, one of which discusses each item of the resolution line by line, and I humbly ask for your thoughtful consideration <coughs> of both those letters. Apologize for being so wordy. Thank you.